Hey plant gang, standing here next to a medium sized specimen of Aeschylus parviflora, the bottle, bottle brush buckeye, the bottle brush buckeye. Now you can see that it's got these tall wispy type flowers. One thing that you want to clue in when trying to ID this plant is it's palmately compound leaf, palmately compound, like the palm of my hand. One, two, three, four, five leaflets on this plant. Now this is a great mounding shrub, deciduous mounding shrub for a shady or semi-shade situation. Love to see it on the edges of a creek bank or maybe on the edges of a wetter area. It looks really good. Uh, you can see it underneath these large trees in a little bit drier shade situation doing well uh, and looking good this time of year. You can see these upswept swept blooms, this mounding habit, almost a haystack look. Uh, and it does put on nuts that are buckeyes. They will form where these flowers are, they'll droop down, and you'll open it up and inside there'll be a large black seed with kind of a, another circular uh, pattern on it that's a great ID. A lot of different types of Aeschylus out there, uh, but this is probably one of the best, I would say, for the southeastern United States. Now this one, just six foot high next to me, but can get quite a bit higher than this. Uh, so Aeschylus parviflora, the bottle brush buckeye. Aeschylus parviflora, the bottle brush buckeye, in the family Hippocastanaceae, opposite palmately compound, five to seven serrate, grayish with slight pubescent leaves. The back sides have a little bit of a grayish to it. Up to 12 foot high, spreading out up to 15 foot wide, maybe a little bit larger. There are a few smallish cultivars, not many. Typically, you'll find only the straight species on the market. Fall color, yellowish green, not overly spectacular. Hardy from zones four to eight, maybe a soft zone nine. Typically problem free, not a lot of disease in insects. Moist, organic, highly organic soil. Partial shade is a great choice to keep the edges of the leaves from burning over time. Here's a landscape tip grows in mass in the shade, can be rejuvenated by pruning to the ground. 